I'm pretty impressed by it. The quality of the sound is great. Well, good morning, YouTube. It is Sunday, July 5th, day after the 4th of July. And I just got through doing some grocery shopping here at uh, Market Street in Plano. And I'm heading back to the house, so I thought, what better time? Check in with everybody. I tried to do a moto vlog yesterday on uh, the 4th of July. Let me move my microphone out of the way. But my battery on my GoPro on the handlebars was dead. So I tried to do a moto vlog with just the camera on my helmet and I wasn't too happy with how it came out. So I thought, well, I'll just do it today. What the heck? Many of you by now have probably seen my Cena 50S and 50R review. I posted it uh, last night on YouTube. I know a lot of you have been waiting a long time for this review. Um, I probably spent more time on that video than I have any other review video I've ever done. And in spite of that, uh, there's still a few things that I didn't quite get a chance to cover. Some of you have already pointed out some of those things. And I will try to uh, fill in here and there in the next upcoming motor vlogs. But what I wanted to do today specifically is let you know we're getting ready to announce the winner of the Bond Body Armor giveaway. I'm going to go home now and I'm going to select or I'm actually going to have my software select the random winner. And uh, I will announce that in the next Moto Vlog. I want to contact them first by email to make sure we get a response. Make sure it's okay with them for me to use their name in a video. But anyway, uh, we will be doing that drawing today. I thought what I would do today is as kind of a supplement to the Cena 50S 50R video, I was going to include in today's Moto Vlog some of the testing communications that Don Smith and I did uh, while testing the 50S and the 50R. So I'm going to shut up and play some of that video now so that you guys can listen in and uh, get some of our thoughts on the Cena 50S and 50R. You know, I got to say, this Mesh 2.0 is actually pretty amazing, and maybe even uh, you use the word revolutionary. I think so. It'll, it'll, it's a paradigm shift in motorcycle communications. Yeah, just the ability to ride up on somebody that's using the same system and not have to pull over and figure out a way to pair up a group for, for a group ride is really a huge uh, jump in technology that Seton has got here. Cruise man, you got the 50R and you're testing it. I am, and uh, we're testing the ability of the 50R and the 50S at the same time. Dog's using the 50S. I have the 50R on my helmet. With open mesh, they connect seamlessly uh, just as soon as we're within range. And I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the audio. So after using it for a while, what habits have you learned to uh, accommodate those buttons? Well, uh, unlike the 50S, the 50R uses these three large buttons. They're kind of uh, rubber, appear to be water sealed buttons. And uh, they're a little, uh, a little cumbersome when you have gloves on. But it does allow the unit to be a little smaller form factor. I stopped hearing you. I did learn, and it went quiet. 
I did learn that it is easy. Oh, shit. Now it's gone to distort it. Really? Yes. This is where it happened the other day. Yes. There's something in this area that's causing an interference. Okay. Let me cycle mine off and on. Okay. Okay, is that any better? It's perfect. I think this uh, open mesh technology is pretty revolutionary, and I'm pretty impressed by it. The quality of the sound is great. The fact that you can connect to another rider in a group without having to get off the bike and pair up the headsets, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? It absolutely is. It's a paradigm shift. I mean, it's groundbreaking. It works as easy as CB radio. Back in the CB radio days, it, as long as you were on the same channel, you could roll up to strangers and start a conversation. There's a gas station where some riders stop in the hopes of other riders will stop. They, hit, they start up a conversation and they uh, find friends to ride with. But just think, in open mesh, Anyone running open mesh, you can talk to. No setup. It's a paradigm shift. I think it's revolutionary. Yeah, I think it's really great. And and you have a and you have a uh, built-in infrastructure. In other words, the 50s and the 50r now have open mesh. But also, anyone who owns a 30k, a Cena 30k can do a firmware upgrade and also have open mesh. I, it's my hope that everybody who's capable of open mesh learns to just start in open mesh on every ride so that we can just roll up and be connected. And I think this uh, mesh 2.0 technology allows you to have up to 24 riders in a group if you do choose to set up kind of a private group. And if you go into open mesh, it's virtually unlimited. You could have as many riders in that group as you wanted, as long as everybody's within range. It's pretty, pretty incredible how that works. Incredible is a good word. Now, it still does have the ability to communicate with Bluetooth. Uh, I think up to four Bluetooth communicators in a group. Now, we tried that early on with the 50s and i think your 20s and uh, the communication was not nearly as clear and clean and crisp as this open or this mesh bluetooth as always i want to thank you for joining me today on cruise bands motor vlogs i have a new video i'm working on uh, hopefully have released before the end of the week this is a product that it'll be a review and an installation video of a product that if you have a 2018 or 2019 Goldwing, you're going to want to watch this video. I'm so excited about this product. Now, if you have a 2020 Honda Goldwing Tour, it may not be of as much interest to you so by doing that, by saying that, I probably just gave away what it is. Also want to take a second to remind all of you that we do have a new Facebook group for the 2018 to 2020 Honda Goldwing Maintenance. Now, you do not have to own my video series to use this Facebook group. It's available to anybody. It's free to join. And it's a great place for you to post questions about your 2018 to 2020 Honda Goldwing. So if you have any maintenance questions or you just want to weigh in and help other people out with some maintenance items or accessories or whatever, uh, check out the 2018 Honda Goldwing maintenance group, 2018 to 2020 I should say. I'll put the link on the screen and in the description of this video. So thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Garage. I will see you in the next Motovlog. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.